Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. Today I am joined once again by Coda. Hello. And today um, we're going to do something that we, we haven't read yet. And it's going to be in the Danganronpa universe. Mainly one shots of different characters. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so we, we were talking like what fan like fandoms are we in? And then we realized that we both love Danganronpa. Uh, Coda just hasn't seen V three at all, but we we yeah. like we have to read some of this. I haven't seen these children in forever. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Don't phrase it like oh, that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we have two adults <laughs> reading this. My bad. That's bad wording on my part. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's restricted immediately. <laughs> I haven't seen these characters in forever. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they're like eight. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Time to read fanfic about children. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I so, didn't even like think of that before we made this executive decision. <laughs> like, it had never occurred to me. <laughs> Like, well, half of these guys are dead. By the okay. way, these are probably... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'm making it worse. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we found this book. <laughs> we sure did find it. Yep, it's Danganronpa X Reader One-Shots. So each chapter will focus on a different character. In us being shipped with said character. And also in these chapters, apparently, according to the writer, there's some swearing. So if you don't like that, uh -oh. I mean, we've been swearing this whole time. <laughs> yeah, we have. Yeah, so uh, trigger warning for swearing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so there's not really an order for these. It just depends on what character you would like. So we decided we're going to start with uh, <laughs> Nagito Komaida. The classic. Yep. Nightingale Kamida. Alright. I like the little picture. Yeah? Yeah, it's so cute. Um, j just to let everyone know, I did download the the Chrome extension where it will replace the, the YN. So we didn't want to use any of our names, so we came up with the, her name's going to be Chonko. <laughs> 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 so I oh. love this book already. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to like mentally keep in mind to say Chonko because I don't have the extension. <laughs> but uh we'll get through it. Alright, we'll we'll do it together. After this you gotta definitely get it. <laughs> Cause it's right. so funny to add your own shit to it. Cause you can replace any word that you want in the story. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh I, I shall go first into the plunger. All right, All right. Let's see. these are long paragraphs, so we'll probably do they like one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, that's fine by me. All right. Whew. You sat there in your cottage in the dark, not wanting to go out. After the last execution, you didn't even want to see anyone. Oh, oh, spoilers, sorry, sorry. <laughs> spoilers wow. for Danganronpa. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Yeah. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> then you heard someone knock at your door. You got up and rubbed your eyes as you turned the door handle to see the white hair with the hoodie and stand in front of you. Hey, don't let the despair get to you, Chonko. I oh think you're God. better than that. <laughs> he said, resting is... his head on your shoulder. His ha hand, sorry. <laughs> I love that our name is Chonko. It's yeah, funny. we we really hit the ball out of the park. We should have a different character for each, like... Oh, yeah. Like, whatever fandom that we enter, it's gotta be a different, like, our own stupid OC. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, like, have a whole universe eventually. <laughs> different OC that yeah. are dating different people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you the, smile. The Phoenix and Coda cinematic universe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny. It really would. Yes. Hopefully, if like in these, we'll get like more descriptive of Chonko. We'll, oh, true. We'll get to truly know who Chonko is. <laughs> I I want to know her. 
You smiled at him. He always encouraged you whenever you needed it. You followed him out of your cottage to the dining hall for breakfast. When you walked in, everyone looked surprised to see you for see surprised at you for coming since you haven't been ever, haven't been ever since the last murder. You just smiled and got your food. You sat down next to Nagito and started to eat. He was talking about helping Hajime with searching the island again like he does every day. But this time he asked you to come with him to just look by ourselves. You were confused but happy to go search with him. You have been looking around the first island for a while and going to the second one would be cool. You finish up your breakfast and followed Nagito out to the second island. You walked over the bridge and looked at the water. The breeze blew your hair as you walked, and every time Nagato looked back at you, you were trying to get it back into place, which made him smile at you. You walked off the bridge and looked around the island, surprised what was there. There were a ton of buildings, like the library, beach house, dinner, diner, pharmacy. You you went to the library to see what was there. God. (laughs) This is going to be hard for me to get through. <laughs> You're doing great, the bud. grammar errors. <laughs> you saw Sonia, though. Uh, she was reading a book on killers, and she was talking about her favorite sparkling justice. Uh, she was talking about how she calls herself an ally of justice. Okay. She looked very interested <laughs> in it, and you were as well. She told you both about her and the killers in the book. But you left her to read, and you and Nagito went to the next house. I don't know how it would feel, like, in this situation about anyone could kill anyone at any time, at any place. And you got this girl being like, holy shit, this is one of my favorite killers right here. I love her. I just bag out not be a fan of her. Yeah. Yeah, you're just like, oh, cool. Anyway, I'm going to not be by you right now. (laughs) Yeah, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Anywhere else. <laughs> As you walk to the next house, Nagito was asking you why you like Sparkling Justice. Oh, we liked it? Okay. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. I just always like those kinds of things, you know? You replied as you walked over to the diner. You both walked in and saw... Uh... Fuyuhiko. Fiyu- go away. I'm trying to eat... I'm trying to eat, dumbass. He said while continuing to eat. You asked how he knew the second aisle was open. He started to yell at you again, so you just decided to leave so you wouldn't cause any trouble. You both started to walk to the beach house. As you walked, you heard a scream. Was that Ibuki? You asked as you ran back to the building. You stopped running to see Ibuki. What happened? You asked concern. The killing started again. What? (laughs) We just got here! Bro. She she said, pointing over there, you saw Akane and Nekimaru fighting. You turned back to Abuki confused. It's Nekimaru's move, the super body blow. It's an instant death, and she's lucky enough to last five minutes at most, Ibuki said, and they walked over to you. Akane, at your current power level, you can't even defeat the ultimate team manager, he said, looking at her. What do you mean? Why are you guys fighting? Nagato asked, looking at them. This isn't fighting, he said. This is a one-side beatdown. Uh, Abuki butted in. Nagato asked him the rule of violence, and he laughed. This isn't fighting, it's training, he said, putting an arm around Akane. But it looked real, you said with wide eyes. I'm just a team manager. Why? There is no why I'd be able to fight for real, he said. We both agreed that this is the training session. I'm not breaking any rules, he said, tensing up. But why, you asked, confused, as why they would train. He looked pretty strong, so I got intimidated and excited, and I thought sparring would burn off some of my energy, but I lost, she said with a smile. Nekimaru then told her some stuff about training, advice, and learning. She walked away with him and said, I'll never give up until I beat you. That's a long the- ass fucking paragraph. <laughs> like, yeah, this is like dealing me psychic damage. I have to be honest. I don't like the the the, the size of this. Yeah. Um. Okay. She's going to get stronger. You thought as you and Nagito started to walk back to the first island. She's going to get stronger through hope. Nagito. <laughs> <laughs> See, slightly closer to you on the bridge. 
Yeah, I beat she <laughs> with her determination. She will probably go back to fight him in a week. You said with a smile as you went off the bridge to the main island to go to the first island bridge. Why do you think Ibuki was scared of it being an, uh, another murder? He asked as you walked across the other bridge. Maybe she was just scared that it would happen again. And hopefully it doesn't, you said, rubbing the back of your neck. If it does, I'll protect you with the power. <laughs> <laughs> he said, wrapping an arm around your waist and pulled you close to him. You were a, a blushing mess when he did that, and he was as well as you went off the bridge and walked down to the cottages. He held you tight the whole time. You were lucky that no one was around to see you blush. He walked you over to the cottage and let go of you. You looked at him for a second and kissed him on the cheek. He blushed deep red. Thanks for being there for me and caring about me, you said with a smile as you unlocked the door to your cottage and walked inside. He stood there for a minute and smiled a big toothy smile as he walked back to his cottage. You sat on your bed and thought about everything that happened that day. You turned the lights off and went to bed thinking of the possibilities for the future and Nagito. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this, uh, is something else. Yeah. This book is... I kind of want to read the rewrites to see if they're any good. <laughs> Are there rewrites? Yeah, at the very beginning it says rewrite in parentheses. And there, it's Leon Kawada. Oh, uh, I see. Kaito okay. Kubota. I don't think you know who that is. At least I don't think so. And then there's Gundam Tanaka. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I know a little bit about Gundam, but not a lot. You want to do Leon then? We go we go sure. right to the beginning where it all starts. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, gotta reload it. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, this looks okay. so much better. <laughs> yeah. All right, just looking. All right, we get to build Rewrite her. Twenty twenty. All right, what's her favorite color? Her favorite color is going to be green. All right. And then eye color. We're building Chonko. <laughs> we really are building Chonko. Her eye color is going to be purple. Okay. The right eye and then color. Okay. <laughs> oh, this was rewritten in 2020. Yep. Damn, okay. Uh, do you want me to start this one? Sure. Alrighty. You sat in your classroom like any other day, resting your head against the palm of your hand as you yawned out loud. Who were you? You were the ultimate artist at the school, and all you wanted oh, was boy. to get out of this boring class at the moment. Out of the corner of your half-shut eyes, you caught the red head jock next to you stretching his arms out wide until a small pop was heard. This was Leon Kawada, the ultimate baseball star at school. You didn't, you couldn't lie when you said that you liked him for a very long time, but that voice in the back of your head told you that he would never let you back. You could just tell in his eyes somehow, trying to read his thoughts as though he stared out into space during class. You couldn't help but just stare at him. How perfect he looked. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> You bit your bottom lip slightly as you returned back to your work, smiling softly as you started to draw on your science paper in front of you. Uh, what the teacher was saying n never really mattered to you all that much. You would just get the answers off of someone else you cared about learning. But as you were drawing, you could feel someone staring over your shoulder as you drew. You didn't mind it when people watched you draw, but after a while it got annoying and made you quite anxious. Like they would judge you if you messed up of it, the drawing looked wrong. <laughs> the bell rang as... Oh. Let me scroll. All right. The bell rang after what felt like an eternity sitting there in boredom like any other day. You grabbed your bag by your your desk and like usual and raced out the classroom so you wouldn't have to deal with learning anymore. You just wanted to head home and crash in your bed, not wanting to begin your math homework. But who wants to anyway, right? Your initial thought of your afternoon consisted of binge watching your show, continuing your art portfolio, and texting your friends here and there. Yet, as you were in your thought, you heard a familiar voice call your name at the end of the hallway, where you came. You turned your head, and you met the eyes of the jock that, that crowded your day dreams frequently. The butterflies in your stomach started to act up as you turned your head back. What did he want from you? Was there something wrong? Hey. <laughs> 
Hey, what up, Chonko? Hold on. <laughs> he finally made he w- way up to you in the hallway. Not even out of breath from his little run he did. Your cheeks were red as he walked next to you. His smile never left his face that made your heart melt. Why did you have to feel fell this way? Uh, hey, Leon. D- do you need something? Hey, oh, uh, no. I, uh, I saw what you were drawing in class earlier. I couldn't help but look. Your drawings are so amazing, Chanko, and I was, uh, wondering oh. if you would like to show me more. If you don't mind, I mean... Leon asked. I could tell he was getting flustered since the way he said his words weren't as confident as normal. Your hearts get to be as you heard him ask you that. Now your ma- now your mind was on overthinking mode over the whole situation. Think of any possible way he would want to hang out with you and why. Damn. Sure, why not? Let me just grab my things from my locker and I can show you what I've been working on. Meet me out in the front, you replied with a small smirk on your face. His face immediately lit up from your words as you walked with him. He seemed more excited than the, no- than the normal. So it's a date then? Uh, sure, you replied quickly as you walked away from him faster than you would. You were screaming on the inside as you walked off towards your locker area in the school. Your cheeks were probably a bright shade of red from him asking you that. Happiness was all that you were feeling, but you couldn't help but think that there was a catch to all this. You just need to forget about that bad thought and have fun with him. Well, back to a better start than the last one. No, this, yeah, I think this rewrite is so much better. It is. Like, there's still some errors here and there, but it's much better. It's easy on the eyes. Yes. It only took you a couple minutes to grab your things you needed from your locker for home. Your beanie was pulled down further over your ears as you walked outside and toward the gate. The familiar redhead was standing there, leaning against the side with a wide grin on his face as he concentrated on you walking toward him. You smiled softly as you joined him, now walking side by side away from the school. He started to talk about what happened in his gym class earlier in to the day. Smirking as he made motions with his hands on his, he evidently hit this kid with a dodgeball. <laughs> Uh, his skills would always amaze you, and you wish that you could have been there to see him in action. So, I was, uh, I was thinking, how about we mm-hmm. head down to the office shop down the street? I've, I've gone there a few times, and I think it's pretty good. You should show me, you could show me there inside. How does that sound? He asked, uh, walking, a, wa- walked a small bit closer to you down the street sinking his hands down his pockets to keep them warm from the cold breeze of the fall coming in to winter soon. You you haven't been to that coffee place in a while. The sound of it made you smile. Yeah, that sounds great, actually. I feel like I'm about about ready to fall asleep because of science. That class will never get exciting no matter what happens. You laughed and so did he by your comment. After that, you both just talked about random things until you got there. Sports, tests, friends, some of the topics you thought you could never really con- contribute to since you weren't that big on sports like he was. But he made you embrace the fact that you didn't know how much, didn't know much and helped by explaining some things on the sports he knows. Especially his own. When he started talking about baseball, it was your favorite. Just the excitement in his eyes as he uh, started about it and his positions. It made you happy to see him that confident and that excited over his favorite things. Soon, you didn't even realize that you made it by the coffee shop Sonia owned, since it was a small family business they had. But neither of you noticed my Zono uh, watching from after down the street with a jealous look in her eye as she watched you both. Oh boy, the plot thickens. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Hold on. Sonia owned the the coffee shop because it's small bit is she a princess she <laughs> is an entire princess yes. of a kingdom she owes a small business small yeah family sure business. she does <laughs> it's like you look at the coffee shop and it's like <laughs> it's like this yeah big ass building <laughs> <laughs> it's just a castle yeah he's like welcome to my small family business everyone the first day <laughs> opening is like a big ass castle with like multiple stories of like of, like stores and shit <laughs> <laughs> Leo smiled softly as he opened the door for you you thanked him quickly and walked over to the table you wished to see that 
That's when Sonia came over with a huge grin on her face like normal, standing by your table with a small notepad in her hand. She's a fucking waitress? <laughs> okay. Is, all right. I, I guess money's a little tight in, in the royal family. <laughs> <laughs> She asked politely what you both wanted. He asked for an espresso, and you asked for your favorite drink that they would serve. That they would serve there, as you waited for her to come back with your drinks, you took the time to grab your sketch pad out of your book you were currently using. You gazed on the side, out of embarrassment, as you slid your uh, sketchbook over to him, and sitting in front of you, you. You really couldn't believe this was one of the first times you were hung out with him since middle school, wishing that you could have kept your friendship strong like you did back then. But things changed, sadly. Some for the worse and some for the better. Damn. This is so amazing, Chonko. You're such a good artist. I mean, look at these. All I can do is draw a stick figure. I can never compare to you on this. These are just incredible, he commented as he turned the pages slowly, after taking all of your sketches and drawings in. His eyes were huge as he stared at them. The smile on his face never left as he flipped the pages, staying on some of them that he liked the most to comment out upon them to you. Your drinks came, and you both just started to talk about random things again, along with the, your work you have done. You didn't even tell him about the drawing of him you held in your grasp underneath the table. You weren't even sure if you should, if you were being honest. But wouldn't it come out as weird that you drew your crush without him even knowing? The thought crossed your mind about giving it to him, but you just weren't sure 100% yet. As you were in the middle of explaining to him the thing that happened during one of your classes today, someone walked by you, and before you knew it, she grabbed you by the collar of your shirt and stood you up from your seat? Huh? Wow. <laughs> All right. We're picking. We gotta, I guess, we, are we being bullied right now? <laughs> I guess. We're about to get got, bro. Yeah, we're gonna get punched in the face. <laughs> this is gonna be a bush <laughs> moment right now. God. <laughs> What are you doing? You stuttered out, not sure what she was exactly doing at that moment. Her eyes were filled with anger as she stared at you and over to Leon, sitting there with a confused look on his face. Maizano, what are you doing? Let her go now, Leon said as he stood up from his seat, pulling you away from Maizano as she stood there dumbfounded upon him acting that way. Leon held you close as he wrapped his arms around you tightly and protectively. He, she yelled at him a couple of times, telling him that that should be her not you that you don't deserve him the way she did and that you were nothing compared to her you had to admit wow. that she what she you had to admit what she she did hurt you it did and before you could say anything she stormed out of the coffee shop after giving leon the bird on the way out leon sighed softly her his arms were still around you as he stood and thought his face suddenly went red as he let go of you, realizing what he was doing. I am so sorry about her, Chonko. She just never got over the fact that I turned her down a couple of days ago. Leon apologized as he ran his hand through his hair slightly, gazing down into your uh, purple orbs as you stared at him. You smiled as you shrugged softly. You weren't able to get her mean voice out of her head, but you were fine for the most part. It's fine, Leon, really. If you say so, sigh. Come on, we should probably get going anyway, he said as he pulled out the, his wallet before you even had a chance to get yours, leaving the total and a tip on the table before you both walked out of the coffee place you both liked. Did we get our coffee? <laughs> uh, yeah, we drank it. Okay, that's good. I, I didn't remember her coming back. <laughs> I thought we just, oh, like, yeah. sat, like, ordered our stuff, we got in a fight, and now we left. <laughs> and we just <laughs> paid for a drink that we didn't even get. <laughs> God. Oh, so I love it when the I don't know if this is common on AO3, but it definitely mm -hmm. is on Wattpad. Of instead of just saying that they looked into their eyes, they looked at their orbs. <laughs> yeah, um, that's definitely not a thing that happens on AO3. Okay, it's just like a uh, yeah, it is definitely just a Wattpad thing. But AO3 serves as like a place where ex Wattpad users go to like. I like graduate, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, orbs is definitely like a, a an early writing uh, trait. Yeah, Wattpad's like high school, and like you graduating yeah. is like going to AO3. That's your college of you. That's doing, exactly. Like, better writing. <laughs> yeah. The walk back was silent. Was somewhat silent, more than you wanted it to be. Anyway, 
He seemed guilty for what happened before, even though you assured him that it was fine what had happened. The truth being told, you expected that from her after seeing the look she was giving you the past week or so. As you walked, you couldn't help but notice the, s the small snowflakes falling from the sky, something you probably would have expected for November. You smirked as you stuck your tongue out and tried to catch one of the snowflakes falling from the sky. Noticing Leo smile as he gla uh, gazed at you, acting familiar to a s acting similar to a small child, from how happy you were. He shook his head as he soft softly chuckled while watching you. While watching you, at that point the awkwardness went away as you both were laughing. But sooner than you hoped, you made it back to your dorms where you lived. A sigh escaped your lips as you stopped. But you stopped and stood at him, standing there. Again, Chonko, I am really so sorry Myzona did that to you and scared you. She just needs to realize I- Leon, it's okay. Uh, don't worry about it, alright? I'm really glad I got to spend time with you today. It truly made me happy to hang out with you again, you replied, cutting him off from finishing what he was going to say. You both stood there, blushes on your cheeks, which you couldn't tell was from the cold or how you were both feeling at the moment. It seemed like s something changed in his eyes as he stared at you. He leaned down quickly and connected your lips with his, pulling you into a big soft kiss. That's a bit, that's a bit much. His arms were around your waist as he pulled you in for a hug, deepening the kiss as you both had longed for the whole time. But sadly, you both pulled back for air and stared at each other in amazement. I really had a great time today with you, Leon. Let's do it again someday, yeah? Definitely. As you replied, you were about to, about ready to walk to your door. You gasped, grabbing the note you had in your pocket of the sketch you did of him. You quickly ran back to him and held out the paper. I forgot to give you this, sorry. See you in class tomorrow, Leon, you shouted as you ran back to the door, this time going inside. He stood there and unfolded the paper that you had given him quickly. The ends of his lips curled into a toothy grin as he stared at your sketch of him in his baseball form. After a while, he folded the paper back up and stuck it in his pocket so the snow wouldn't ruin it. The fact that he knew you shared the same feelings for him never left his mind, and in fact made the sketch ten times better in his mind. It seems like he couldn't get you out of his mind for that matter. Yeah. See you in class, um, I guess, Chonk. I don't know. <laughs> Chonk, that, that's her nickname. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this the original um, right here? It is. It's oh, a lot shorter. Yeah. My eyes don't like that. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Kind of horrific. All right. I th let me look at time real quick. What are you thinking? Like, um, you like this or no? <laughs> um, it's it's a little hard to get through, but <laughs> um, but you know, it could have potential. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we should do one of the, the ones at the end here. Maybe there'll be better writing. Maybe. I'm trying to see um, if there's anyone that you would know. Because all the ones at the bottom are V3 people. <laughs> yeah, well, no, there's Nakamaru and oh, yeah. Mikon and I think Yasuhiro, I think, is from the first one. Yeah, yeah. oh, I, do I don't think I've ever read a Yasuhiro. <laughs> Me neither. All right, let's do all it. All right, Yasuhiro. All right. Okay, it already looks a little better yeah. than the first uh, Nagito one. All right, that's that's a good sign. We're rolling with okay. it. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, who would like to start? Uh, I can start. Alrighty. This is a long ass paragraph. Okay. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. You didn't know what to expect when you walk into your classroom for the first time in Hope's Peak High School. You walked in and seen some of your classmates, but you were a little early to class, so that was probably the reason why. You went to the back of the room where a dude with spiky hair sat. You looked out the window inside. You didn't, uh, you didn't really want to start a new school year, especially where you were labeled by your talent. You just looked out the window at the nice sunny day that you could be enjoying, but sadly not. Then the guy with the spiky hair turned towards you. You bored as well? he asked as you turned your head towards him. Yeah, I wish we could be outside or somewhere other than here, you know, he said with a slight smile. He then put out his hand. Yasuhiro, the ultimate fortune teller, he said with a big smile. Chonko, the ultimate medium. <laughs> oh, we're switching it up. Oh shit, should we have a new Fortnite. name? 
Yeah, um, uh... What's a uh Mavion's name should be? Um... Oh, no, um... A medium. We can just do some shit like Debra. Debra! <laughs> Debra, perfect. Alright. New alias. New alias. Debra, the new ultimate. New OC. <laughs> Debra, ultimate medium. Alright. Okay. You said with a smile as you shook his hand. I can tell we're going to get along by my crystal ball, he said. You laughed a little bit. Yeah, me too, you said. You both started to talk about random topics as you waited for the other students and teacher to get to class. You could really tell that you were going to be good friends with him this year, but maybe a little bit more than friends you thought as you sat down and waited for class to start. That's yeah, that's a little fast. Uh, we just met You met. This just guy. met. <laughs> you ha said maybe three sentences. <laughs> and you're like, I think we're going to get along just fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is my new boyfriend. <laughs> The next few weeks, you and Yasuhiro hung out more often when you thought you, more often than you thought you would. You hung out during the weekends, after school, and during breaks in class. You didn't know that it would happen, but it did. <laughs> <laughs> you were walking to your locker to pack up the things you needed to go home with. You, you grabbed new things and shut your locker and put the lock back on and walked towards the main entrance. Hey, Deborah, you heard your best friend say. You turned and saw him. Hey, what's up? You said as you gave him a fuss bump. Don't have to work today? Oh, don't you have work today? He asked. Yeah, why? He said as you walked to s walked out of the school and down the street. Well, could I go with you? I'm hungry. He said, rubbing his stomach. I rolled. You rolled your eyes at him and punched him in the arm. Sure, but just don't be annoying and you'll be fine. You said with a laugh. Fine, he said, acting like a little kid. You both walked down the street to the cafe you worked at part-time. You were working overtime so you could have more money to pay the rent at your apartment building. You tied an apron around your waist and you went behind the counter to wait for customers. But since most people were at work, there was not that much people, so you just sat at the counter and studied your science with Yasuhiro since you had a project due in a week. Hey, um, would you like to do the project together at my house so it'll be faster to get it done? Yasuhiro asked as you finished reading a page in your book. Yes, please. I can't think of anything to do for it, you said as he looked at you with a smile on his face. We could do it on fortune tellers, mediums, and psychics, and what they do and how they are different and help the world, he said, which brought a smile to your face as you thought more about it. What? Yeah, we should do Hold that on. then, you said as you high-fived him. You took care of everything at work for the next few hours, and then you walked with Yasuhiro to his house to start to work on the project. Wait, so they're doing a science project, and they're doing it on some mediums? And yep. They're gonna get an F. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> I think fortune tellers and mediums are the furthest thing from science. They are. They're like... <laughs> like, total. fundamentally. Bro, they're not even the same room, bro. No. <laughs> he, lock he unlocked the door to his apartment and let you walk in first. You sat your bag down as you both sat at the table. You discussed what the project would look like and what facts and details should be of it. He listened to every word you said and was interested in the fact that he suggested the idea less than 30 minutes ago, and you thought of everything that you both would be doing. He was fascinated with you and wanted to know how you thought of it in less than 30 minutes. You wrote down everything you both suggested and created a diagram and what the poster board would look like and showed it to him. Deborah, how did you come up with all this stuff in so little time? Yasuhiro asks, looking at you, raising his eyebrow. I don't know. It was just comes naturally, I guess. You said, rubbing the back of your neck, blushing. Well, there is our project right here, and I bet we'll get an A on it. You said with a big smile. <laughs> I don't think so, girl. You're I'm not so going to. <laughs> you pass. I'll be amazed. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> we should work on it tomorrow. Yasuhiro said as you walk over to the door and grab your bag. I'll see you tomorrow then, you said as you walked out of his apartment with a smile. Y'all gonna fail. <laughs> yeah, we go up and it's just like, I don't, it's like, this doesn't even follow the rubric. I gave you guys, like, <laughs> topics to cover and this is none of them. <laughs> yeah, like, I gave you a select number of prompts. <laughs> I, 
this isn't even relevant to the assignment or the class. God. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> then a week later, uh, you then stood in front of the class and explained your project. The teacher handed you the paper containing your grade, and then school ended. You and Yasuhiro walked to the pa park after that. You sat down on a bench and unfolded the paper. It said 100% in <laughs> red ink up liar. at the top corner. No, it didn't. <laughs> oh, you you know, like, that teacher was asleep during their shit. And they were like, oh, oh yeah. what? Oh, yeah, 100. Yep. <laughs> That's an A for effort. That was a participation <laughs> grade. <laughs> God. You then turned and hugged him. I knew we would get a 100%, dude. You said, he said, uh, you both then realized what you were doing. But you didn't stop hugging him. Instead, you <laughs> him. This is sexual harassment. Like, yeah, this is so much. That was the one thing that you never thought you would be able to do to him. To him? <laughs> I don't like that wording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stopped and looked at him in the eye. And just you looked at him <laughs> in the eye. <laughs> the one eye. Just the eye. Which oh, didn't say and orb. <laughs> looked at his one orb. <laughs> and smiled. We should work together more often, you said, as you sat there and talked about the paper a bit more. But you knew that you both would probably work together again during projects. It never listed his reaction to that. I guess he was happy about it. Or we I just mean, I dominated guess. that conversation. Or he's still sitting there, like, stunned. <laughs> He's like, he's just like, I, I just got like harassed. <laughs> it's like that computer error screen is like 404 stopped working. <laughs> Please contact manufacturer. Enter code <laughs> five ten zero. Go on. <laughs> All right. Um, which one should we? I think when we look at time, I think we have time for okay. one more. <laughs> Okay. If you want, we can do our favorite, which I think is Mondo. I think I saw okay. a Mondo one in here. Yeah, I, I see one at the very top. Okay. Mondo Awada X female reader. That art oh looks boy. real good. <laughs> yeah. It reminds okay, me of Zoro. <laughs> Let me open Oh, it. yeah. Should we have a new name? Um, It depends on uh, what kind of student we are. Oh, yeah. We don't know. Let me, let me, hold on, let me just search. Uh, oh, yeah. Shit. Hair color. Um, we are the ultimate skater. All right. We gotta have some badass hair color. What should it be? Um, it should be bright pink. All right. Bright pink. <laughs> yeah. And should our name, we can't stick with Deborah. What, no, what, we can't because we're Deborah's the not, skater. Yeah, De Deborah wouldn't have a fucking be a skater. No, she's not that cool. <laughs> she wouldn't have pink hair. Yeah. Uh, I feel like skater. we should have like a cool name like Razor. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yes, Razor. <laughs> Razor. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna eventually have like a full like class worth of dung and rumpa ocs yeah and they're all gonna be like it's just this like weird shit <laughs> i hope God. if i get popular enough so we'll go back to these shitty recordings and be like i'm gonna draw this person for them yes fan art of chonko and razor and uh deborah <laughs> and deborah yo who else ships chonko and razor <laughs> just wondering <laughs> Chonko, the <laughs> ultimate artist, and Razor, the ultimate skateboarder. <laughs> the world's crossing paths that we never yes. thought would happen. <laughs> God, see, when I imagined, like, skater, I kind of imagined, like, uh, like roller skates. Oh, God. <laughs> so, I mean, it could be... Uh, what do we feel is better, roller skates or skateboard for this character? I love roller skating, I, okay. That's what I've done. I never rode a skateboard before. Me neither. <laughs> that but sounds terrifying. I, I, but I think she does ride a skateboard, unfortunately. Okay. okay. She's just doing right. like cool kick flips and shit. Yes. And her name is like spelled wrong. <laughs> it's like R A Z E R. 
How did you know I spelt it like that? <laughs> That's exactly how I spelt it. <laughs> it just felt right. Oh. In my heart. What if you're psychic? What if you're Deborah the medium? <laughs> oh God, I was Deborah all along. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, who wants That's to start horrifying. this one? Or we could flip my remote and see who will go first. Uh, I I like that idea. All right, do you want to be the button side or the the back side? I'll be the back side. All right. All right, it's the back side. I think my battery right. fell out. It's oh fine. shit! It's good. It, I lost Put the back. Put back in. <laughs> You lost the back? Yeah, the back was, like, lost. <laughs> but Oh, like, it, it has already been far gone? Yeah, we don't know where it okay, is Okay, I thought you meant you flipped it, and then you are like, oh, I just lost the back. Whatever. <laughs> I'm like, dude, let's find it. <laughs> no, we're good, we're good. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. All right. It was the middle of school. You were riding your sk skateboard. Okay, yeah, okay. Skateboard. <laughs> yeah. Your bright pink hair blowing in the wind as you skateboard down the street. A guy on a motorcycle flew by you. Heh, <laughs> Mondo trying to show off again, I see, you said as you did it. Yeah, okay, you put it into a school. <laughs> People watched you do your mad flip and so did Mondo. You knew he was pissed at you for taking all the attention in the crowd. You smiled since you landed every move. Being the ultimate skater, you did land everyone that you did. Okay. Uh, the right. bell rang, and it was time for class. As you were walking to your class, someone pushed you from behind. It was Mondo! You smirked and pushed him back. Normally, people uh, didn't push him back because they would get their faces beat to, to tell and back, but you did. You weren't scared of him, and being one of his good friends, you did have the right to push him back. I saw the moves you did back there, he said with a smile. Yeah, so, you replied, not knowing what he was on about. You did your tricks, usually once or twice a week, to show everyone, but evidently this time was different. They were cool. I see you have been practicing too, he said, hiding a blush <laughs> by turning his face. Yeah, I've been practicing on that new move for a while now, and I did it outside. It was sweet, he said, as you entered the classroom with him. Good, I thought you were both late, Taka said with a gratitude. Yeah, almost late, though, he said, taking a seat next to Taka and Mondo. Soon class began, and you were bored out of your mind. You looked back and saw one of the transfer students looking at you weird. You turned your head back around and sighed. This class is so boring, you thought as you sat through the class. Was Makoto looking at us weird? Uh, maybe. Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> Indeed. I'm glad Talk is in this story, though. Talk is the best boy. <laughs> the school day was done, and you followed Mondo outside to his motorcycle to go to Chih Chihiro's house to play some video games. You sh you walked slowly, thinking about the guy that was looking at you in class. Hey, Mondo, do you know who the transfer student is in our class today? You said getting up getting up on his bike. Yeah, so? He looked. He said, putting the helmet on your head. He was looking at me weird. I mean, weird today in our classes. You said, wrapping your arms around his waist as he drove off to Chihiro's house. You made it to his house in less than five minutes. You took it the helmet off and got off the bike so what's your point here razor mondo said as you both walked up to the house so if i go missing in the next week or so you know who did it you said with a laugh mondo just rolled his eyes and, and smiled as he knocked on the door jihiro and ishimaru opened the door and smiled at you as as they let you in it has been a few hours of you all playing video games and watching movies it was getting late, so you all decided to stay at Chihiro's house for the night. Since you were the only girl there, you had to sleep in the other room. You sat on the air mattress that Chihiro gave you, flipping through your phone to see your notifications. You could hear the boys in the other room snoring. You just smiled, since they were your great friends. You slowly laid down on the mattress and closed your eyes to try and go to sleep for school tomorrow. Suddenly, someone laid down on the mattress by you and grabbed you. Oh, shit! Um, <coughs> oh, God. I don't like this. I don't know who no. <laughs> mm -mm. You started to kick and punch at the person. Hey, it's only me, you heard Mondo's soft voice by you. You scared the shit out of me, you said, as you let him lay down in the bed with you. I thought I heard someone, so I came to check on you, Mondo said, laying an arm on your waist. Hey, now. <laughs> I don't... 
There's no. no, like, spoken consent being given here. No, and no, I don't, don't like touch it. me there. This is my <laughs> no-no <my> square. <laughs> no square. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Mondo, you do care, you said with a small laugh, making him blush. But seriously, thank you for <laughs> caring about me. You said as you laid over on your side and went to sleep with Mondo by your side. Um, I don't think... I don't like this. No. I love the yawn that you said. It was really funny. I thought you were just going to say the word yawn. <laughs> oh, all right. Whew. You woke up to hear Chihiro and Ishimaru laughing at you. You open your eyes a little more and turn your head to see Mondo fast asleep next to you. You smile. Give me a marker. You sit quietly. And they gave you a marker and you start to doodle on his face. God. You s you set the marker down on the ground next to the bed. Hey, Mondo, wake up. I gotta get to school, you said sweetly to him. He sat up slowly and went to the bathroom. Taka and Chihiro were laughing as you raced downstairs. You heard him yell and stomp down the stairs. You quickly got your jacket and put it on. You raised the door in, in, and had your hand on the handle, and someone picked you up. What did you do to my face, he yelled. I made it pretty. <laughs> You laughed. You you knew that you were pushing it too far with him. You flung you. He flung you over the couch and client. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. I can get through this. I am strong. You got this. It's yes. just a book. <laughs> All right. He flung you over the couch and climbed on top of you. And then he did okay. something that he always wanted to do. He kissed you passionately, which turned you into oh. bull. Making it out. No. He pulled away. Good. <laughs> Man. I have loved you for a while now, you asshole. He said, kissing your cheek. I have too, you replied, smiling, as you both got up from the couch to make it look like you were fighting when the others came out. All right, you two, break it up. We're going to... We got to get to school, Taka said, opening the door. You followed Mondo out to his motorcycle and he put the helmet on you and jumped on. What the fuck? I hate this. <laughs> you all made it to school in less than ten minutes. You jumped off the motorcycle and took off the helmet. Mondo walked up to you and placed a kiss on your forehead. Before you walked to the front doors. The transfer student was looking at you weird again. Mondo just showed him his fist and he seemed to back <laughs> off. It was just a start of a new school day, like nothing even happened, except for your new relationship with Mondo. Does he still have the marker on his face? I really hope so. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Go to yeah. school and you got like fucking shit drawn on him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and everyone's in class is like, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> um, this was a read. It was a read. Yeah. I would so, wait, hold on. Let me check. Alright. So, what'd you think? Um, it was entertaining, at least. <laughs> um, there was a significant lack of, uh, consent. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, but, uh, you know, the concepts were there, I guess. <laughs> Uh, that was a read. We did it. We read it. I remember this being better when I read this as a, as when I was a little younger. So yeah, crazy how uh, standards will evolve over time. Yeah, because I was cause... looking on my phone and I had mm -hmm. it on like um, because Wattpad has a feature where you can save books offline up to two if you unless you have like oh. premium. Which yeah. I'm not downloading premium for what? No, so absolutely I had, not. I had my Duncan X reader, and then I had that one. So I was like, mm -hmm. "Oh, that one must be real good." If I try to save it offline, let's read that mm -hmm. for a video. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, the the something was entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it gave us some giggles. Absolutely. So, if you so. guys would like to read some of the one shots that we didn't get to read. Or reread some of the ones that we did. I will have it linked below. And uh, we're going to move on to a new segment that I like to call the fan fiction roulette. <laughs> Let's go. So, just in case we don't know what to read, we have this wheel right here. 
and I sh I need to share screen with you so that way you can see the masterpiece yeah. that's going to unfold right now because I want you to see the little yippee. Oh, I love the yippee. Yeah. All right. So we have a bunch of suggestions. We will retire some of them over time if we do it too much, but we have a lot to go through. So let's so fucking spin the last wheel. Last time. Is it spinning? Yeah, it's spinning. Okay. Yeah, it's spinning. What is it? Oh God. Again. Again? No! We have to spin again. Yeah, we can't like, do the same thing in a row. No, All right. we can't. Alright, okay. this time for All real, right. we promise. If it lands on Donovan Rumpa again, that I'm gonna start crying. Wait, oh, shit! Okay, alright. Yeah, we, uh, we can continue uh, on the, the yippee. <laughs> Alright, so... We can so continue the Maria one. Absolutely, we got it. It's real good. I really do want yeah. to finish it. Probably the best thing that we have uh, read so far. Absolutely. This so next next upload, it will yep. be that. So just okay. so so you guys just see the suggestions that I put on here. We we're yeah. going to different different ones on here, and mm -hmm. hopefully we land on this one one day. It's real good, but it's like a hundred <laughs> chapters. <laughs> Yeah, that would uh, take a while. Yeah, but it is from AO3 and fanfiction.net. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you know it's like vintage if it is on fanfiction.net. Absolutely. So I guess the next one, we'll read that Elliot X Reader. Woo! <laughs> I cannot wait. This is going to be busted for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye.